Okay, this is for programming the Bluetooth on a Civic, um, uh, namely a 2012 or 13 Civic. And basically, I'm going to do it with my iPhone. Um, very simple. It does work with other, uh, other any Bluetooth phone. Some of the features are not compatible. Um, uh, they do have a um, uh, some things, and I'll show you as I go along what you will get in some phones, what you won't get in others, and some of the quirky things that work with older phones, that kind of stuff. But this is specifically for how to program your Bluetooth and uh, some of the features after you program your Bluetooth. Okay, the first thing you want to do, this is your pick up, hang up, and call by voice, but the first thing you want to do is go over here and push the phone button. So it's going to show up on the screen. It's going to ask you if you want to pair a phone. So you're going to push it. The first time when there's no phone paired to it, it's going to ask you this. And it's going to say, do you want to pair a phone? And again, like over here, this is like your mouse, this is your clicker. For this specific function, this is your mouse, this is your clicker. So you're going to turn to what you want and push the button. So you're going to turn down to yes, push it, and then you're going to put your phone into discoverable mode, which is usually under the settings. Um, one of the things that I've found, some of the phones with Android operating systems, they tend to ask you, do you want it to always connect to this system, this car when it gets in? You want to say yes, um, but it's the last thing you see, so sometimes you forget to do it and then it's a big pain because you, you have to go to your phone every time you want to connect. With an iPhone, it seems to just automatically connect every time you get in the car, but when you push this, the pairing process requires she's going to talk and she's going to search and by this time you should be looking in your phone and turning on your Bluetooth settings and uh, making it discoverable which you definitely have to do um, sometimes you have to do it a couple times uh, I won't find the phone I've programmed a lot of phones on the people that buy cars for me so sometimes um, it takes multiple attempts um, but I found most of the time it's usually a mistake that I made. Uh, like I turned the Bluetooth on, but um, I didn't make it discoverable. So make sure that you do that before you take it back to the dealership. Um, it, like I said, I'll, I'll put together some pictures of what it looks like in a phone. Um, but like I said, you... The mic is up here for the Bluetooth, and it's actually angled towards you. So a lot of times if the person in the passenger seat starts yelling out commands, it's not going to understand, and it's going to say there's, you know, it's going to confuse what you say. It's made for the person that sits over here. Okay, once you get your phone in the system, in the Honda, then you're going to have an option of all this. And basically the first one is your speed dials which I'll go over in another one. That's so you can do the call by voice. You can also look at your call history, which would be dialed calls, received calls, and missed calls. Your phone book. Hang on. Your phone book, which will go alphabetical. And then also you can dial. So if you wanted to dial a number, like if you wanted to call my store before one, two, four, one, two, go back. And then you would hit dial. You can also redial the last number that called you. And then the last one here is your phone setup. And this would be where you would add a second phone, add a new phone, connect a phone. If you got a phone, you can delete your old phone. And there's also your pairing codes, although I don't know why you would use a pairing code. Um, you can also clear your system before you trade the car. You can make it auto answer, auto, uh, I'm sorry, auto transfer, which means when you turn the car off, you're in the middle of a conversation, it will transfer back to the handset when you get out. You can also have it pull up the number or the name of the person who's calling if it's in your phone and then clear out your system. These right here, this one, this one and that one will be the only ones that show while you're driving. 
the phone book and the dial will only go on while you're stopped. Obviously, it's a safety thing. But that's why you want to put in your speed dials, and then you can do your 15 call by voices per phone, um, you know, if you want to uh, uh, call your most commonly asked or your uh, most commonly dialed uh, uh, numbers by voice while you're driving.